Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today, we're going to be heading into another plant showcase. Of course, there's a new season going on in Arena, and with it, a brand new plant. I'm not currently playing in the Arena, but I wanted to at least showcase the plant and the epic quest along with it. It is going to be the Explodo Vine. So as you can see here, Explodo Vines detonate an explosion with knockback when planted, and then a larger explosion when eaten usage can be planted on top of non-vine plants. So this is pretty cool. It's like a combination between like a potato mine and a vine plant in that way. Very cool. Explodo vine is so ready to explode. Just ridiculously ready. He's got the color picked out and everything. All right then, so as you can see, we can just unlock him because I got him earlier, and looks like in terms of stats, 150 sun cost, 10 second recharge, 1500 toughness, 1800 damage, plant food, power is armor, and special is knockback. So the armor, sort of similar to like the exploded nut, I can only imagine. So yeah, let's give this a try a little bit um, in the epic quest. Hopefully it's still available. I would think it would be if the arena is still going on. Yeah, for Explodive Vine, we got 20 days left. Play with Explodive Vine and win 50 Explodive Vine seed packets. We've got five levels to check out, so let's get to it. And hopefully everything works out okay. It's been a minute since I've last played PvZ too, so I'm, I'm glad to get back into it. Plant Explodive Vines alone or on other plants to explode and knock back zombies. We'll do, so we got some all-stars, chicken zombies, all that sort of stuff. Let's get to it, so. I guess I don't want to put them too far back. I'm going to do something like this for right now, but remember, they explode when you initially plant them as well, so good to keep in mind. So maybe I'll do something like that, and then once these get into like a one space radius, boom, just be able to explode it like that. Not bad. Now, if they try to eat the Explodivine, that's going to be another interesting situation. And maybe about there. Oh, boy. Oh, and we're getting Bang Shui. Maybe I could have done this better then. We'll find out. Uh, so you, as you can see, wow, he just charges right through, but it explodes just like you would see like a cherry bomb or something. Okay, so I've not quite done this very well, but I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Uh, we'll get the fume shrooms where I need them, but mostly I guess we'll have to get the box toys up like that, because unlike some of the other vines, these ones aren't actively attacking. Instead, these ones, um, oh, there we go. So that got still rid of the bok choy and the Explodivine over there. I don't like that too much. But you know, something like the um, the other vines, you know, we've seen. Um, the Blastberry Vine, I think it is. That one is like actively attacking as we are. Um, this one's a little bit more, I guess, static in a way. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Put that about there. It looks like the Explosion Race is pretty good too. That's nice. So we got some plant food here. Let's go ahead and use it like that. And you'll see it just ups their armor a little bit, which can be pretty good. They're like covered in TNT and stuff. Interesting, for sure. Okay, let's get this here. I'm just gonna get rid of this group as much as I can. There we go, not too bad. I think, yeah, we just gotta get rid of this one up. So there we go, the first level done. Interesting setup for sure. Do definitely not like the main plant you want in your strategy, but as like a side additional thing, that's always good. I think that's sort of the same thing with all the vine plants so far. But yeah, let's try out the second level for the Explodo, uh, Explodo Vine Epic Quest, or at least I was going to, and then the game crashed. Whoops. Okay, hopping into it for real now. Hopefully this will work out, we gotta see. Uh, there we go, the game didn't crash. Level objective, survive and protect the endangered plants. I would love to. So we got two electric blueberries here, which are always pretty good for taking out zombies. We definitely wanna get them protected first and foremost with the exploded vines. But I can also wait until the zombies show up so I can explode them along the way. So yeah, I won't put those down until I need them. That seems to be the more incentivized way to do it. But we can get some kernel pulse around too. Oh wow, that butter just sort of went. Okay, and then boom, just do that real quick. I don't know if it was exactly necessary. Now we have a chomper coming up, a couple of chompers. That's good. Don't know if we'll quite need it, but boom, got rid of that guy. Oh, nice butter there. Okay, so it's looking about good for me to set up some chompers. Oh no. Well, maybe not. The shovel zombies ruin everything. But I tried, I tried. Let's get the butter out. Ooh, got a couple of coins, got even more plant food. Hmm. But even then, the zombies are working their way through quite quickly. This is too much. This is too much. Um, I can't tell if there's any Explodivines there or not. 
This is crazy. Maybe I should just use the plant food on the explosive vines and everything. Maybe that would have been better. Okay, there goes that explosion. That's at least good. This is a bit of a situation. We're still in now. Um, oh no. What can I do here? Boom, put that there. And then get some extra armor. That would be nice to, Electric Blueberry is doing its thing. Oh, was that everybody? Okay, so a bit of like a, a barrage of a level. Tons of zombies all at once, but we handled it. <laughs> That's all I can ask for, right? So there we go, bombardment for free. Uh, I'll do that at some point, not now. Okay, so events, let's try level three. Now we're mo moving our way through this pretty quickly, but I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Explodive Vine? Um, what are your thoughts on it compared to other vines? Do you think this one's good, bad, somewhere in between? Have you been on to earn it up throughout the Explodive Vine season? I would love to hear. I know that there's been confirmed another new plant coming up next season as well, so we'll definitely have to check that one out. But for right now, it looks like we do actually have a pre-selected plant level here. It's gonna be Primal Sunflower, uh, Puff Shroom, uh, Repeater, Potato mine and explodivine. So interesting combo this time. Not too much muscle to it. It's mostly just the repeater that we'll be working on here, but maybe we can combo the puff shrooms with the explodivines to make something happen with that. It's pretty affordable, but it does give us an idea of the cost of the explodivine. Being 150 each, that is quite pricey to be honest with you. So it's definitely something we'll have to work on. But right now I could do something like that. That gets rid of some of the zombies. Not too bad, actually. We do have a little bit of plant food coming up with this one cone head. Ooh, and we got this. But the gargantua is coming in already. And that's sort of where does things get a little overwhelming. I don't exactly know how I wanna handle this, but I'm sure there's a way. Okay, let's get that there and this there. Um, I might have to, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do here. This seems a little crazy. Boom, that helps for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and do a potato mine there as well. This is like too much. This is like entirely too much. How did it get this bad so quick? That's good. Maybe I'll plant food this guy. Just get rid of him, get some plant food out of it as well. Wow, it just doesn't stop though. Throw some of that stuff out. That'll certainly get rid of a couple of zombies, right? Okay, good, good, good. There's a surfer zombie up here, though, that is certainly gonna cause a problem if I'm not careful. But we'll get rid of him. That's good. We haven't lost any lawnmowers yet, and I would like to keep it that way. I'm trying my best to organize that. Right about there. That was okay. It got rid of the gargantuar. I mean, I would love to set up like a puff shroom plant food situation here as well, but I just don't know if that's a good idea at the moment. Boop. We'll see if that's a good idea, because this is the last wave of zombies. If you just get a little bit more sun, that'd also be good. Definitely get rid of that. But maybe that wasn't the best idea. Oh, you know what? We can just do this and that. Okay, combining all of our resources, we're able to get through it. So these levels haven't been too tough, but they definitely haven't been easy so far. But there's level three done. Right, where was that level four? We've been moving through them so fast, I can't keep track anymore. Um, that was level three. So now we can try level four. Yeah, definitely a fun plant. Um, I'm glad that the vine family of plants is sort of growing bigger and bigger. It gives us more variety. Uh, but hey, what do we got going on next? It's gonna be a more explodive vines, but this time it will be um, conveyor belt, so I'm sure we can discover some interesting stuff here. Definitely want to see what the blast radius is when we initially place it down. It is the full three by three, which is great. And it's just, it really is like a full cherry bomb explosion in that way, honestly. Not bad. There we go. Gotta be careful of a couple things. Can we put spike weeds in a vine? I don't know if we can. I don't know if we should try to find out. Whoa, that's a lot. Maybe I should slow this down a bit, yeah. <laughs> that seems like it could be a problem. Ooh. But yeah, it works as like a proper cherry bomb explosion. At first I thought it was maybe weaker than that, but it really doesn't seem so. Okay, there's that. Maybe a good time for some plant food. Hmm. Yep, there we go, there we go. Ooh. 
Ooh. Boom. That'll send some of them flying back, and then he'll explode it. He just he takes so much damage out. I probably could have placed that better then. But it is what it is. There's more plant food for everybody. Definitely the weasels don't stand a chance at this point. More zombies are moving in. Ooh, that was good. Got rid of two Gargantuars with that one. It doesn't really seem worth it in a situation like this, though, to put down plant food for the for the Explodivine. I think it would be just smarter to continue putting it down for the Electricity Reed. Or the Lightning Reed. Whatever this one's called, I always forget. <laughs> but there we go, we got it. Awesome stuff. So, there's a bag of coins. And that means we have one more level up to tackle. This episode's going by so fast. <laughs> That's okay. Um, let's try level five. Yeah, definitely. I'm having fun with this plant. Would like to see uh, how the vine family continues to grow. Because we've had, what, this is like our fourth one? Because we've had the original uh, Blastberry. We had a sun one. We had the pumpkin, which is technically a part of the vine family. Now this one. Some good variety in there. So what am I doing with the rutabaga here? Rotobega, actually, I think. I'm just trying to get rid of as many gravestones as possible for the time being, and that seems to be working out. We also get the spore shroom. Full lane of it already. So some things are picking up quite quickly. Oh boy. Maybe. Okay, what do we want to do with this guy? I think exploding him sounds like a fantastic idea. There we go. The initial explosion didn't get him though. Sometimes it feels like it's very powerful, sometimes it doesn't. But maybe it was at a higher level last level. I don't know. Wasn't looking for that. Probably should have been. Uh, let's do something about all this, because that's a lot. There we go, certainly getting rid of some stuff. That was good. Them throwing those imps around though can be a big issue. Oh no, can I get something good here? Whoa, here we go, just please explode them or not. You know, do whatever you want, I guess. <laughs> That wasn't very good, but hey, at least other things worked out. Hmm. Right now, they've been sort of just good go-to, like, mini cherry bombs in a way. Awesome. Um, we've got to be really protective of this bottom lane, though. Bad things can happen if we're not looking for it. We're not looking out for it. But yeah, especially with the dinosaurs. Oh, well, that was good, though. We got plenty of plant food here, too, so... Doing a bit of that isn't too bad of an idea. There we go. And is this the last zombie right there? I think it might be. So there's the last zombie of the last level of this epic quest. Pretty cool. So that was a fun look at the Explodivine. Vine. Not quite done for today's episode. I would like to go ahead and try out some other stuff, at least, you know, do the daily pinata stuff. But there's gonna be 50 seed packets for the Explodivine. Vine. We'll be able to level him up. That'll be great. And I think we might have gotten some other stuff as well. No, not quite. What other events are going on right now? Uh, the hot date. You know, we might do that one, because of course we've already showcased the hot date, so I might go ahead and um, just do some epic quests for him, just, you know, to do some extra stuff in today's episode. But to pad it out a bit, I definitely want to also check out today's pinata party, get some extra coins and seeds through that as well. And also we'll level up the Explodivine Vine just in case it could be used in any other levels we play today. Okay. Oh, is this the event where the zombies have big heads? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> oh boy, that'll be funny. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> yeah, this is like a limited time thing. This'll be fun though. Oh, we got some uh, Grave Busters. I'm just going to, oh, an Apple Mortar as well. Excellent. Gonna work as fast as I can here to get rid of these guys, because I don't know if them having a bigger head means that they're more of a challenge to defeat, but I don't want to risk it either way. Apple Mortar is great with that though, because it can slow them down. And now that we have those two where they are, they hit every lane. All right. So, so far, yeah, they're not really getting all that far in. Hmm. Got it, and we can put out some bunk choice as well. This is a full three flags worth of zombies coming in. That can be a bit of an issue. Oh, I hope that that guy doesn't torch it. Oh, he doesn't, awesome. 
So actually, we can save some of the Celery Stalkers if we want to. We got one Gravestone we can bust here, but the, the guy lit on fire, oh no. Oh, we got plant food. Plenty of it too, so you know what? Let's just launch some stuff over. That'll slow them down. Hopefully the Celery, celery Stalker can help with that. That one portal that all the zombies are jumping out of. I would like to save the rest of my plant food until this final wave. Can we do it? I think we can. Oh, that guy was moving. There's so much going on. Awesome. And there we go. So I guess this last wave wasn't too much of a threat, huh? I guess not. But hey, there we go. There was a very fun pinata party. I like the big headed zombies mode. There's five Explodivine, Vine, another three, and 1,500 coins. Yeah, I definitely appreciate the extra Explodivine Vine experience. Always good to have. And maybe we'll play more Pinata Party soon. But for right now, let's go to the Almanac real quick. I'm going to, uh, what is it called? I'm going to level up the Explodivine Vine with the experience we just got. And then we'll be able to hop back in the action with the hot date quest. Since I've already checked them out in the past, I'm not super, you know, ready to make its own episode. But there we go, level up. Explodivine Vine goes to level two, which increase or decreases the sun cost, improves the recharge, toughness, damage, and special knockback. Very good stuff. So I always like it when a good variety of stats are upgraded through a level up. When it's only like one or two things, that can always be a little bit disappointing. But back to the epic quests. Oh, collect seed packets. Get some extra gems for that. Don't mind if I do. And let's take a look at the events. Um, so right down here, we got the hot date. So it'll just be another five levels. Might as well get these out of the way now. And we get a good variety of zombies too. It is interesting that we're getting the hot date, even though it's a Valen Brains event plant. Like it just seems like a weird time for it, but I guess, you know, because it's probably an explosion based season, they're trying to do something with that. But as per usual, it'll explode and then it has basically the jalapeno effect. I don't know what else they're going to give us here, so the hope is that I can make it all work. There we go. But yeah, I should drag them over like the, uh, not like the garlic, the garlic drags them away. Uh, there's another plant that does that too, I think. Either way, we can get this guy doing his thing. There we go. But it didn't get this guy's attention, so let's hope that the fat beats can get him. I'm a little concerned. It's not looking like the fat beats is gonna get him. Let's do that then. Ready? Boom. That was okay. Get that set up. More fat beats, please. Maybe it'd just be smarter to set up the other way around then. I'll get that back there. A tough starting level for this though, for sure. There we go, that wasn't too bad. But there's still more to keep up with here. There's plenty of zombies swinging in. Got it, got it, okay. Yeah, hopefully they do start showcasing some more plants that I don't have, because there's still a lot more I don't have. I know I need to start showcasing some of the um, gem plants. Sometimes they will showcase a gem plant as a plant of the week though. So I like doing it when that is the case, but it just, maybe I shouldn't hold on to that forever. You know, definitely for the premium plants. I should, but for the gem plants, I just need to showcase them when I have the time. Uh, let's move to level two. Because I think with this one, we're not going to just get 50 hot date seed packets, we're just gonna get 50 pinata seed packets. So we got a lot of plants that can be improved by that. Survive and protect the endangered plants, it's gonna be potato mines. That just feels like a waste of a slot then. I mean, the best thing we can do here is like, uh, well, definitely the garlic, but on top of that, maybe I should have put it not like that. Because I'm worried that, that somebody might eat the garlic there and then move right on top of the other potato mine, and that wouldn't be good. So we'll do something like that for now. And hope it works out. Definitely a weird setup, but we can use any plant food we get just on the potato mine so that we can rush the rest of the field with it, and hope that that's a good idea. But are we going to get any offensive plants at all, or will this, okay, I was gonna say, we all rely on the hot date, because that could quickly become a problem. Let's get back to that. Because as soon as it gets scared off into the the second to the top or the second to the bottom lane, I should be able to hit them with um, 
the date, they'll move to the center. And that's where the Bloomerangs can hit him a little bit too. So definitely get as many Bloomerangs in the center as possible, but also watch to make sure that if we need to replace a Garlic, that it gets replaced. Oh my. So let's do a little bit of that. Hopefully a good idea. I mean, luckily this guy will fly right over, but it's not giving me any more plants at all. So maybe I should dig this guy up and put it here. Is there a maximum of plants it's gonna give me? Because that's sort of baloney if that's the case. I guess so, I'm not getting any more plants, except for garlics for when they get destroyed. Isn't that weird? I don't quite know what to do about that in this situation with the, uh, the jetpack zombie. Um, this jetpack zombie is gonna get past it though. See, I, if I have a maximum of five boomerangs, like, yeah, that's so weird. And of course, these guys are knocking it all back. That's a major issue we got going on right there. No, what do you do here? This is so weird. I don't like this one. So as an improved version of this strategy, I only need the garlic on the top and the bottom, because after that, the hot date should be able to immediately scoop them over. Um, so I'm just worrying about that, which means we only need the boomerangs on the top, bottom, and middle, because they're just not gonna be on the other parts of the lane for as long as you think, as long as that doesn't, you know, go bad. Okay, awesome. I'm a little nervous that sometimes, especially like when that happens, we can immediately set up another hot date. I think that using the plant food on it would make it immediately explode, but I don't know. I also don't know what that will do. <laughs> that makes it so it freezes a bunch of zombies, I guess. Which is good, but okay, and the second there's a hot date available, I need to put it down. I guess I could, no, really? Why did that hit? Oh, this is so tough. I didn't even see what exploded it there, unfortunately. Okay, so I moved a bunch of them over with that. And I definitely need to work on that a little bit. There we go, the date's gonna go off again. The second it's available, I need to place it again. There we go. Luckily, nothing bad happened with that when the other zombies are floating over the jetpack ones, but you know, that's okay. There we go, come on, come on, come on, I need another date. I need another date right now. There we go. Replace the garlics, even though they seem totally fine. I just wanna make extra sure, come on, there we go, very good. Let's call everybody in with one final plant food. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness, what a, what a job that was. Very big piece of work there. All right though, we got the uh, the bag of coins and we kept all of our lawnmowers, of course, so awesome stuff. That was a very challenging level, definitely the most challenging we've tackled today and hopefully that will remain the case as we take on these next three levels. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. So, what do we got going on? Ooh, survive and protect the endangered plants again. Oh boy, do you see what's going on here with the fire tiles? I'm not looking forward to this one. But I feel like I do remember this one. What I think we have to do is just set up the hot dates so that they're not gonna be over there. So let's hope we can do that. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of hot dates. And then I guess split peas somewhere. I don't know where. I guess, ah, oh, this is so weird. Um. Okay, maybe I could do, don't stand on that. Why are you standing? I guess the hot date's not fired up enough. <laughs> okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. Let's get them over to the top, second to tops and second to bottom uh, rows as soon as possible then. That's probably a better thing to do. Okay, level objectives, we know them. Protect these endangered red stingers. So as soon as I can, just boop, do that. And then same deal over there. We got it. So now with that set up. Not bad. That'll explode those guys. As soon as more pop up, we will do what we gotta do with that. Uh, I don't know, that guy might get taken out because I thought it was gonna give me a sort of a different situation than it has given me now. Um, I'll do something like that just in case like there are zombies that jump in later. Cause I have a feeling that's gonna be what's gonna happen. There we go. Especially, oh yeah, with these imps. Some of these imps are gonna be a big issue because they don't get affected by heat at all. So that's where the split peas are super duper important. But I don't quite know how to maneuver that. You know? Well, actually I might be doing damage. It's so hard to tell. Either way, just get them on these lanes. That's the most important part for right now. Because I can do this. I just, I don't know what is doing damage and what isn't. 
we'll, we'll, we'll do that for now. Uh, we'll get this here. And most of these zombies are being dealt with, which is great. Ooh. Okay. Hot date right there. Oh my, here come the gargantuars. Come on, get them over. We got plant food. Gonna activate some of that. Gonna use this hot date to drag some people over, hoping that those imps don't ruin everything. It doesn't seem like they will. That's good, and that's the rest of them. Okay, this level was tough, but not as tough as the previous one. Sorry, I almost dropped the whole iPad there. <laughs> almost knocked it over. <laughs> Clumsy me. Um, all right, so let's move over to the second to last level with us, level four. And I'm hoping it'll just cool down, you know, get easier. Don't let the zombies trample the flowers. These are never easy, though. Might not be difficult, but they're usually not easy. We've got a gesture zombie, piano zombie, lots of gravestones. So I guess we wanna do something like that. Also get the bloomerang out here to do away with these gravestones as soon as possible. I might save those hot dates for now. Try to figure out what, the, what it really wants from me at the moment. Might be what's best. But I can get a lot done with just a spike weed and hot date. Tell you that much. Okay, well this is where that could become a very quick issue. We got it, we got it. Here comes the piano. Almost have a boomerang in every lane now. I don't know if the chickens get affected by the hot date. You'd think that maybe, but who knows? Got it. So it looks like they were able to get rid of some spike, which I think the piano just like rode over it and that breaks that. Maybe. One more bloomerang and one more spike weed down. That's all I'm looking for. Set this up, set this up. There we go. Oh no, oh no, I might have to do this. Precautionary move there. Let's slow this down then, for sure. That's just one off, set up a new one. As soon as it explodes, replace that. I don't know if digging it up manually would affect or cause the effect. I don't think it does, no it doesn't. Okay, lesson learned. Oh, is that all of them? No, 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 there's still more, I was gonna say. Because it's the final wave we're going into here. Oh boy. But it looks like that's gonna be just about it. I don't know, there's still more chickens, but like the, the, the repetition is still the same. All right, there's more zombies towards the end of this than I thought. I thought we were about to finish it up, but now. Hmm. All right, cool. There's a bag of coins. Almost 34,000 coins as well, so I like it. Okay, final level of the day for sure, and then we gotta swing by the uh, Zen Garden and see what we get going. Survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. Lots of uh, different uh, circumstances being thrown at us with these levels. So for this one, we got hot date, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy getting some extra seed packets and stuff. I don't think we have any other level ups. Or no, we might actually. I don't know what exactly it wants me to put where, so I'd like to build up a good idea of what plants is gonna provide first. Doesn't hurt to put the hot date down though. And I'm thinking for the repeaters, yeah, just get them set up like that. Because as long as we do that, we have most of our bases covered to begin with. Then we can start spreading out to the other lanes. A little bit more. Looks like we're getting a lot of P firepower here between the bowling bulbs and the uh, repeater. Maybe you want to move the hot date one spot back whenever these guys get exploded because that way um, the imps that are getting shot out of the cannon can still be attracted by them. Zip just back here. Get the hot date replacements, and it looks like that's all it's gonna give me in terms of plant in terms of plants. I don't know if it's gonna give me any more repeaters or anything. So maybe I should dig this one up and put it on the minecart. Seems like a decent idea. I need more hot dates though, as soon as possible. It's not really giving that to me. Um okay, we'll do that for now then. It's not really what I wanted to do, but you know what? Let's use some plant food wherever I can. Oh goodness. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Come on, plant food, plant food. Oh my goodness, stop, stop. Oh, okay. Phew, let's get this back in order. 
So we have all the bowling bulbs we need. Actually, yeah, this is all the plants. So we got it set up, we're fine. It got a little scary there for a moment, but just using some plant food at the right time definitely made a big difference. Okay, so two epic quest lines done in today's episode. We got 50 seed package for the Exploded Vine, and now 10 for the Bombegranite, the Hot Date, Banana Launcher, Torchwood. Okay, so we have a couple levels. Colonel Pult, quite a few to tend to. Um, definitely wanna try some of them if we can afford it. We don't have a ton of coins for level ups right now, but we should take a look to see. If I can get a level up for something like the Colonel Pult, that's a pretty important plant to be as beefed up as possible. So yeah, let's take a look at it and see what we can do. Um, here's the Colonel Pult. For a whopping 4,000 coins, we can upgrade the Colonel Pult's damage, toughness, and stun. The stun's a big deal there. Everything else is pretty good. Uh, and was that? That was just normal pea shooter for 2,000 coins. We might as well do it for fun, right? Uh, sun cost gets improved by 25 cents. Always a big jump. Toughness and damage. What else? Torchwood's a pretty good plant, but 20,000 coins for that one. I think I'm gonna put a hold on it. 4,000 for the... For the melon pole. I'll do that one. <laughs> Toughness and damage get improved. Very damaging plant, getting even more so is always fun. Uh, star fruit, 20,000 as well. Some of these are really pricey. I might end up getting more coins soon. Uh, magnifying grass, I don't really use enough to justify that for right now. You know, what other plants around here do I use quite often that need to level up? Like sometimes we use pepper pole. It's available in challenges every once in a while. So toughness damage and special warming radius, always good to improve. And what about everything else? The spore shrooms pops up more than you'd expect for level up, or for epic quests. So toughness damage and plant food power damage, always good. Oh, does it have another one? It does. Oh wow, back to back level ups. Spore shroom up to level four. Improved sun cost with that one is definitely a big deal. And it's honestly a decent chunk along the way for level four. And primal walnut's another good one. I have a lot of level ups sitting here I just haven't gotten to. So recharge and toughness improved. Very nice. So a lot of our plants are getting up there in levels. There's the aloe vera as well, but that's 10,000, and I honestly just don't use the plant very often. But if we can level up a mint, it's free. <laughs> don't know why I haven't already done that. Recharge duration and zombie healing improved. Why does it heal zombies? <laughs> that's not good. Uh, I'm probably misreading it. Either way, let's go to the Zen Garden really quick, and then we'll finish off today's episode. Hopefully they will showcase some plants we haven't seen. Um, in this series in the, the weekly event soon. But for right now, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Where is the Zen Garden? I, I'm rusty, I know, I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you guys for your support throughout the PvZ2 series so far. I will be producing more episodes soon. It's just been busy with other games. It's been a crazy busy year for games. Lots of cool stuff coming out. And we only have one thing we can restore here. But we also can boost the Cabbage Pole, and now we can um, start building up a boost for the Bowling Bulbs. Lots of fun. See, with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.